up next is a wonderful product that you can just take anywhere. It's quiet punch. Sometimes when I'm emceeing events, um, I sing, there's a kind of hush ooh, to try to quiet everybody down so that we can start the presentation. And with us now is a man that knows a little bit about quiet. He is the inventor of Quiet Punch. Welcome to the show, Brian. How Thank are you? Very you? I'm very good. Good. So how did you invent Quiet Punch and what is it? Yeah, so I came up with the idea. I've always been into boxing and I work with, uh, work with kids and just different things. And I had a lot of uh, clients that I would train. And I figured there had to be an easy way for them to keep training when they weren't in the gym. Okay. Especially in New York, I live in uh, the city, so the apartments are small, everything's tight, really tight spaces. So I came up with the idea, basically with a duffel bag and two pull-up bars in my apartment. I found a way to, to build it, to manufacture, prototype it. It's been a five-year process now. But it's a punching bag, and it's really meant for just many audiences, so not just fitness. We have actually autistic kids that use it. We have people for Parkinson's disease, so, and people in wheelchairs, because it's height adjustable. So I found so many uses that I didn't even know about, but now it's starting to happen, and we have like, this big community and family that's growing. <laughs> so you don't need to be that coordinated, really, no. although I would consider myself coordinated, in order to use Quiet Punch. Correct. Okay. So tell us the main benefits of your product. The main benefit is really it's, it's quick fitness that's not at a gym. Okay. And a lot of people don't have a lot of time. So at least right. a, lot of, a lot of mothers and people that just maybe have like five, ten minutes of tops when they're in their place to get a little quick workout and then go back to whatever they're doing in their house. And it's temporary, it's totally temporary as well. So basically you put it up and take it down. I love it's like that. Space. It's like years ago, although they determined that this particular product wasn't so safe, but mm -hmm. you used to put your child in this like little bouncy swing that would hang, right? right? Yes. And like Suzanne Summers, there's like all these things that have been in doorways, but this is the first product that I know of that is exactly like this. It's patented, you created it. Correct, yes. Okay. So now you were telling me too about growing up that your mom has been really instrumental yes. and had product coming out of your bedroom? Yeah. Like, so, so tell us about yeah, that it's, day, it's so weird. the early so, days. When we got the first shipment and we got a thousand units to come in from okay. the factory and it came in a truck and it was just me and my mom at my house, my parents' house in Pennsylvania. They, the truck came up and they opened up the door and there was just tons of pallets and <laughs> we didn't know what to do with anything. They just took it down and left it on the property. So we had like 16 pallets, 100 units. It was, took forever. It took my mom and I maybe six hours to unpack. I put them into my room where I used to live in, in my childhood room and just went up to the floor to the ceiling. Just tons of boxes. And we had this schedule that every time we'd have a, an order, my mom would put a label on it, and then FedEx would come and pick it up. So it was very, very homegrown. Started out as a small business, yes. and it's now expanded. Yes. Um, your product is available all over the world. Correct, it is. Okay, mm -hmm. so now you personally, one of the things that I loved is that you said you grew up in Queens, yes. and that you were working with inner city youth. Mm -hmm. um, and so tell us about the success that you've seen, about how it's actually impacted lives. Absolutely, so when I got to, yeah, when I was in Queens, and I always had a passion for boxing, but I started doing more, just for me, like training, and then I met a couple of teenagers and I was showing them what I knew. I wasn't a trainer yet. Right. I was showing them what I, knew, what I knew and they were like really picking up on it. They started inviting their friends and their friends started coming. I formed a whole gym, so I had about 300 members and they're all teenagers. None of them could pay, so they would just come in with maybe some pennies and nickels, and, but it didn't matter. It was just about watching them grow and I would travel with them and take them to different competitions and to see these kids grow. I actually got a couple of emails recently from a couple of kids I did when they were very young that they went to college and they were like, you know, it was because of the program that kept me focused and driven. So the boxing is just one side of it. It's more the discipline that yes. they get out of it. So I think people are scared, oh, it's boxing, it's dangerous. But it's not about that. It's about the discipline and learning how to control your aggression and then actually taking it to something positive. We're working on a component right now that's have a sensor on the bag so that way we can start measuring when they're punching to turn it into more of a game. Wonderful. Almost like a guitar hero where they're like oh, to yeah. the beat. So that's the next step. Those are the next stages for us. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so your product is available everywhere. Yes. Um, it's portable. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. You're helping people all over the world with it. Um, how do you personally feel now that your company's where it's at? It's it's starting to click over, okay. but it's still weird. It's still weird to see videos posted of people using it, and they're like, oh, look, how, look at what I'm using. To me, it was it took a long time to see that and then understand and see like it's a real product. Because it's like, you know, you've so nervous and put it up and yeah they're hitting it and they're like oh I love this and then when they're sharing it with their friends and I see people put reviews up and then someone will comment on the review to say like what's your follow up to this and somebody comes back and says I don't like it I love it like and yeah. it's just to see that it's just incredible. And how many uh, calories can you burn doing it? It depends on your fitness level most I would say about between like 300 and 600 calories Wonderful. for like a 30 minute session. Fabulous. And we have like different sets of workouts for people who have a little bit of time, a little more time, but it depends on your fitness level. So mm -hmm. Brian, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. And I'm just going to hold this up so yep. because it really is like really cool and really portable. Appreciate it. So, thank and you. this is something I, I can do. So stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We've been visiting with Brian from Quiet Punch.